We, we did have the problem, as you know, of dealing with uh, conspiracy uh, and the the problem that you'll hear about more from my colleagues, but the overwhelming problem from the outset was that it is always impossible analytically to prove a negative. And here the task was to prove there was no conspiracy. Now, the commission was aware then of all the possible interest here in Texas and nationally and internationally who might have an interest in assassinating the president. But in order to prove a conspiracy, you have to prove there's some some relationship between the alleged conspirators and the people who actually did the deed, whether it's Lee Harvey Oswald or Jack Ruby. And the commission staff and the members of the commission conducted a widespread investigation looking at the associations of both these individuals intensely and comprehensively and could not find any evidence that either of them had been aided in any way by one of the alleged uh, suspects. Or, and so, uh, I, that, of course, is a conclusion that uh, one can never be absolutely certain about, and what the Commission did in its findings was, say, was to say, we have found no credible evidence of a conspiracy. They did not say there was no conspiracy, and they fully understood that with the decades to come, there might be additional evidence that would uh, persuade uh, uh, impartial, knowledgeable people that there was a conspiracy. It's been 49 years and that evidence still has not materialized. And if I had had the, the, the courage of my convictions, the book would be entitled, uh, History Has Proved Us Right, <laughs> rather than History Will uh, uh, Approve Us Right. <laughs>